bookworms. This was originally supposed to be a reading vlog, but I accidentally deleted two of the clips, um, which <laughs> I had talked quite a lot in, and then I couldn't be bothered to refilm them and sound like a parrot and repeat myself. So now we just have a little sit down um, review clip. So, The Goldfinch. This took me just under a week to read, um, a bit slower than kind of I thought, but um, I ended up giving it a four star. Um, it just had something missing and a few little things that stopped it from being a five. Um, I've read other chunky books, um, like A Little Life, um, The Heart's Invisible Furies, um, what are the ones? I don't know, and a few others that are kind of chunky beasts that I would have happily read if they were longer. And even when I finished, I wanted more. Um, with this one, I feel like it could have had a bit of a trim. Um, and if it was longer, I think it would have been in danger of being like lower rated or given up with. Um, the overall though, four stars, because I really liked the characters. Um, I really liked the storyline and yeah, the, the writing I thought was brilliant. It's my first book I've read by this author. I've got her two other books on my shelf. So now I'm even more looking forward to reading those, which is great. Um, and it's always a really lovely feeling when you read one book by an author and it just makes you want to read more. So you kind of discover someone else that you like their writing. Um, I wouldn't have read a book of this size if I didn't like the writing in the first place. Like I wouldn't have carried on with it. So that shows that I did really enjoy it because I mean, there's plenty more books in the sea, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, and I'm not afraid to DNF a book. Um, there were like the first 200, so even 300 pages, I thought were really, really great. Sorry, I just kicked you there, you all right? Um, really, really great. I thought it kicked off really well. The actual scene um, where, I haven't said anything about this, but I assume people know what this is about if not this follows um a boy called theo decker um basically he loses his mum in a like terrorist um this terrorist terrorist type attack um at a museum that he's with with her um there is a a bombing um i know it says on the back it says miraculously survived a catastrophe that otherwise tears his life apart and in the trailer for the film you see the bombing so it's not really a spoiler um yeah and basically from the the scene he takes this painting the goldfinch and he kind of keeps it hidden and kind of his secret if you like tape behind his bed because it was one of his mum's favorites um and he keeps it and it's just basically the story is about him throughout his uh, childhood years, teenage years, and then like adolescence, early 20s, whatever. Um, kind of the repercussions of having that painting when there's people that are after it that want it back. Um, his friendships that he makes and breaks, his dating life, uh, sex, drugs, alcohol problems that he has, um, the work that he does, the people that he meets along the way, and just the trouble that he gets into, basically. It just focuses on him throughout those years and the repercussions of what happened to him, how he deals with that, and the repercussions of him keeping hold of the painting. Um, that is kind of the long and short of it. Uh, there's obviously like a bit more to it, it's not as whatever as that, but that is the long and short of the story. Um, yeah, so the kind of <laughs> real focus on the art side of it, the antique side of it, because he works in an antique shop, um, kind of repairing and restoring and selling, um, that side of it kind of wasn't so, uh, it didn't really grab me, it's not really something that interests me at all, but it didn't take away any enjoyment of the book in itself, um, it just maybe didn't grab me and I didn't love it as much as some other chunky reads, you know, like, that I have read and loved, but I'm really glad that I did read it, like I say, it's made me look forward to her other books even more, um, because they sound really great and they've had a lot of great reviews. So yeah, overall, four stars. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad that I read it. Would I rave about it and recommend it to every Tom, Dick and Harry? Probably not, um, because I think if people read it on a recommendation, they'd be a bit like, why do you recommend me this? <laughs> but oh, I don't know, kind of like the start and the end, I really, really loved. Like the start and the end, if it had carried on 
like that, I think it would have been a higher rating or it would have been a four star, but I would have still enjoyed it a bit more. Um, I felt like in the middle, it did kind of dip a little bit and it got a bit boring um, and a bit repetitive. But then when there's kind of a little twist revealed near the end um, and kind of things happen and then it all wraps up and whatever, I really liked it. Um, I did think it ended a bit suddenly and a bit strangely, but that's fine. Apparently the film ends very differently, which that would be interesting because I got <laughs> a copy of the film um, and I think just by front cover and the cast of it i think they've done a really great job with that so that's quite exciting um i have put it in the dvd player now i've just made myself a cup of tea i've got two hot cross buns and i'm ready for this two hour and 23 minute film i don't normally watch films that that long unless they're marvel or very special allowances um I Sometimes I don't have the attention span for it, but um, I will check back in with you after I've finished and let you know what I thought of that. <laughs> so I'll see you in two hours and 23 minutes. Okay, wish me luck. So it successfully held my attention for two hours and 23 minutes. So that is quite an impressive thing. Um, I will say probably, well, in, in our house, we rate films out of 10, popcorns so out of 10 popcorns um i would probably give it like seven and a half maybe seven seven and a half um the main thing that i liked about it was the casting of it because everyone like brilliant 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 everyone was brilliant um and i thought that it was just really well casted especially um because i never normally watch a, a read a book and then watch the film so close together so i don't kind of always remember everything that was in the book when i'm watching the film but it was a really good kind of experience to read the book and then kind of a day after i'd finished it to watch the film so i'm definitely going to do that more um there's books that i've got that i've um kind of have the film and have watched the film and really liked it but i've never read the book so i'm gonna definitely do some of them like this kind of video which will be interesting um yeah so all in all i did really enjoy it um like i say I held my attention for that long which is very impressive um yeah so i'm really glad that i watched it and read it as well it was a fun experience to do the back to back um i think they did a really good job with the film actually i think it was really good um, I liked the way that it flashed back and forward between Theo when he was younger and when he was older um, and kind of where he was in his life and who he was with and what was going on. Um, yeah, the ending was a little bit different, but I didn't think that it was, it didn't really affect it that much. I think both book and film were kind of good. Um, I still think that both of them do have a bit of a sudden ending for me. Like, I don't know, I just, it felt like it just ended <laughs> almost i don't know but i suppose it works sometimes doesn't it but yeah um all in all like i say seven seven and a half maybe out of ten which isn't bad at all um yeah there you go i'm glad i'm glad i watched it quite good yeah <laughs> there you go and um, so yeah i'm gonna do this again with um basically the series if you like is going to be called um like tackling a beast <laughs> or something like that um so any chunky books that i have got um obviously i've got quite a few that i can think of and some that i included in my list of ones that i'm determined to tick off the tbr this year um so yeah i'm going to do a little video kind of review dedicated to them separately um as well on like bookstagram and that as well um and then also to watch some film adaptations and read the books that they're from kind of back to back as well and do like a little review one that springs to mind just seeing nicole kidman there is um the film before i go to sleep i don't know if you've seen that but the film i absolutely love it's like one of my favorite like psychological type thriller films um it's really really good and I've got the book, but I haven't read it. So that's one that I can do. And also, I don't know, maybe things like Maze Runner. I haven't read the books. Um, I don't know what else. Divergent, I don't know. And like anything else, you know what I mean? But yeah, and it made me really also excited for um, to watch more kind of upcoming things that are from books, like um, the film of 
uh, The w Woman in the Window, is that right? Which I really loved that book. And the trailer looks really good. I think it's got Amy Adams playing the lead, I think. Um, so yeah, whenever that comes out, that would be good to watch and reread the book because I've kind of forgotten a bit of it. But anyway, <laughs> that's for another time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching as always. Um, I hope this has been entertaining in some way and I will see you in a couple of days for a new video. So, uh, bye. <laughs>